Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you two different types of dimension that are a little bit different than the regular dimensions we use in technical drafting. So for example, here you can see this thickness is what? It's 10, right? And it's just uh, this, the dimension text that you can see on the uh, dimension line or the, uh, the double arrow. But you see some other dimensions, they might have parentheses or they might be inside of these uh, boxes. Right, so what are these and uh, what are their applications? So the first ones are the ones that you might see in parentheses. These are called reference dimensions. And reference dimensions are redundant dimensions that you simply add for convenience of the machinist to know those dimensions without having to get them from adding and subtracting other dimensions. So in this case, for the simple part, I can clearly get this 200 by adding this 140 offset to this 30 and then since the part is symmetric about both of these axes I have another 30 here so 30 plus 140 plus 30 is what 200 or this 120 is 60 plus 30 plus another 30 down here it's what again 120 so you see I don't need them and we learned that in technical drafting we should not have redundant dimensions so why do we add them as I said for convenience so if a machinist wants to grab a stock part and put it in the CNC machine he has an idea of what kind of size, what kind of piece he needs to grab and he doesn't need to go into all of these dimensions because this part is simple but if the part is bigger and it has so many features and the machinist has to stop and add and subtract a bunch of things to finally he finds the total size of the part that is going to take some of his time or her time so here for convenience I add them here but by putting those parentheses around it I'm telling them that hey, you can get this from somewhere else, but I'm just putting there for you. So although it's redundant, it's okay to have them. Now, in order to make a dimension, a reference dimension, and add parentheses, all you need is to click on that dimension in SolidWorks. And then here you see this option on this dimension window next to the dimension text. It says what? It says add parentheses. So if I click there, you see I have added parentheses and I can also what? Turn it off. So this is how you make a dimension what? A reference dimension. The next type of dimension you have are the ones inside these rectangular boxes, which we call basic dimension. And basic dimension is a dimension that is typically used with a true position uh, GDNT or con uh, feature control frame, right? FCF. And uh, it is going to provide the true theoretical position of a feature. So here, let's say I want to know the true position of the centers of these four holes. So how do I find it? Well, I ideally want the center of this hole to be drilled at 30 and 30 with respect to this corner, okay, by fixing uh, surfaces A, B, and C, the bottom back and the left surface onto the inspection table. And then uh, these other centers can also be found using what? Using these offsets of 60 and 140. So if this point is 0, 0, here is 30, 30, here is what? Here is 170 in X and 30 in Y, and here is what? It's uh, 30 in X and 90 in Y, and this guy is 170 in X and 90 in Y. Okay, so using these four dimensions, I can theoretically find what? The uh, intended locations for the centers of these cylindrical holes. Okay, now how much am I allowed to deviate when I drill the centers from these theoretical centers I provided using this feature control frame and I say hey first of all those are cylindrical holes you see there is this symbol diameter here and the amount the radial distance that I'm allowed to deviate is only 0.1 of an inch okay so 0.01 off radially from these theoretical points is how much I can be off when I use my datum features A, B, and C. Okay, so the amount of deviation is reflected here. And so for these four dimensions, I do not need to provide what? Any tolerance. If I have a dimension like this, the tolerance for that, that is not a basic one, the tolerance for that should either be provided here in the general tolerance note in the design table or if it doesn't follow that tolerance then I have to come here and what 
I have to manually add it. So say I, it's a bilateral one and it's like plus uh, one and uh, minus plus 0.01 and minus 0.02, okay? So I have to either provide that tolerance here or as I said, you can go right click here, go to edit sheet format and then go to this general tolerance node and say what, unless otherwise specified, then for linear uh, dimensions, then it's what? Plus and minus, uh, let's say, uh, 0.01, okay? Something like that. And then for angular degrees, it's like plus and minus one degrees. And then all dimensions are in inches, for example, or in millimeters or something, okay? So uh, this way, any tolerance other than the basic ones, other than the basic ones, and of course, uh, reference ones are just really there for uh, convenience. So other than those, any regular uh, dimension has to follow plus and minus 0.01 unless otherwise specified like this one. This one is different. So for this one, it's what? It's plus 0.01 minus 0.02 then that plus minus 0.01 is observed where? Here, for example. For this diameter of 20, it could be 20 plus and minus 0.01, and I don't need to uh, basically provide it here. Now, as I said, these uh, basic dimensions don't have a tolerance, okay? Because the tolerance for those is reflected here in this uh, CFC. So in order to make a dimension, a basic dimension, what you need to do is when you go to a dimension, let me let me add it here one more time for you. So uh, you go here and add a dimension, right? So let's say you go here and here and add this dimension. Then instead of adding a tolerance for it or say none or say bilateral, you say what? I want it to be a basic dimension. And there we go. Done. Okay. And it's different from uh, this here okay uh, that you can put basically what you can do an inspection dimension that is a separate thing an inspection dimension would basically tell the part inspectors in a factory to how frequently inspect some dimensions for their tolerances to make sure their tolerances are met or not okay so they need to basically uh, get statistics from those dimensions for quality control and so on. So as I said, if you put something inside this uh, uh, rounded hole, you might call it, or slot, then that is different from a basic dimension. And uh, one of the things that you can typically add to this dimension text is uh, how frequently, as I said, you need to monitor that dimension and you can add tolerance for it, right? Okay, you can add tolerance for it. So you can, uh, or as I said, it can follow your general tolerance, right? So here, and um, so you can say none or you can say bilateral, but once you put that, then you need to say how frequently and you can add and say, hey, I want 100% of the time for that dimension to be what? To be inspected. Then every time and every time this part is made in the factory, they have to check this thickness here, whether it is 10 plus and minus 0.01 or it is what? It is different. So an inspection dimension is what? Is something different from a basic dimension. And then you also have uh, reference dimension and you also have what regular dimension so that is the difference between these four types of dimensions so uh, I initially didn't want to talk about inspection dimension but uh, since I showed it to you in SolidWorks I said well let me at least uh, briefly talk about it so hopefully this video was useful to you and I will see you in my next video thank you